Hey guys, it's Sarah here from We Are Twin Set. Welcome back to our channel. I'm flying solo again today. Pete is on holes, but I'm really, really excited about today's video because I feel like what's needed right now is a bit of a transitional styling video, kind of what to wear. We're very much in between seasons at the moment. And I feel like I'm kind of out of putting on a florally floaty summer dress, but I'm not quite into coats. So I was kind of thinking about the stuff that I've been wearing the past couple of weeks, bar this week, which is when I'm filming it, where it's actually got really hot again. We've got that Indian summer, but it's kind of those key wardrobe staples that are absolutely perfect for the season now and for the time that we're in when, we, when it's quite a transitional way to dress. Um, so I'm actually looking at them while I'm talking to you. I've got kind of quite a neutral palette, but those just kind of really easy pieces that you turn to time and time again, those capsule wardrobe pieces. I'm gonna apologize, I've just got Invisalign by the way. So as you can see, I've got my retainers in. I'm a little bit getting used to talking. So forgive me if I'm stuttering on my words a little bit. But yeah, I asked on Instagram last night what you guys wanted to see. And I would say about 50% of people is kind of how to dress now, key autumn pieces, wardrobe staples, capsule wardrobe, etc. So I thought it'd be really good today to show you five different outfits that kind of my go-to for this kind of in-between weather, just those staples that you might have in your wardrobe. Hopefully I might give you some different ways to style things, give you some ideas, or maybe kind of put things on your wish list that your wardrobe might need. So there's five different looks with kind of those key pieces and I'm going to talk through them and also try them on so you guys can see because I know you like to see fit and size etc. And actually I watched Philippa's video obviously from last week and I really love the way she did it so I'm going to kind of do it that way trying on in the mirror as well and talking through the pieces. Also just want to say this was a really fun video to kind of style up because I did my autumn winter kind of wardrobe swap over last week. Um, obviously again pre-hot weather and it was really fun just to kind of check back in with those staples that I had and kind of get out those pieces that I haven't worn because we had like quite a good run of weather we, it was warm from about April so I haven't I've got my like leather joggers out um, my leather jacket and yeah I'm just realizing how much I do love that season I think Phil said last week that she loves kind of wrapping up and being a bit crisp not wet obviously I love in between weather. My favorite weather is when I can put on a jacket or a shacket, a t-shirt and jeans. I kind of, that's my favorite way to dress. And I think that's how I feel most comfortable. So right now where it's kind of a bit cooler in the mornings and a bit cooler in the evenings is my absolute kind of favorite transitional period. Final thing before I actually start trying on the clothes, I just want to shout out about this sweatshirt from H&M. So you know we have become obsessed with shoulder pads this season. And funnily enough, I was thinking the other day that I remember watching my mum when she, when I was younger, putting in shoulder pads in literally every single top that she wore. And I'm laughing that everything always comes back around and now I'm the one wearing the shoulder pads. This is like a crop sweatshirt. I really love this kind of minty greeny color and it's a great transitional color as well. So shout out to this sweatshirt from H&M and the necklace I know you guys all love from Muse and Moda. This isn't included in my transitional um, outfits, but I wanted to kind of give them a quick hello and share with you where they're from just because I know you guys are going to ask. Okay, the first piece I think is so important in that transitional wardrobe and just part of any wardrobe is the shacket. Now you guys know how much we love a khaki shacket. I've had mine from Topshop literally in my wardrobe for about six years and I updated it this season with a kind of slightly shorter version from Amazon that I know you guys loved. However, I do feel khaki shack is quite springy. So when I'm moving into autumn, I am all about the leather shacket. So this is kind of a faux leather shacket from H&M last year. And I had so much wear out of it, kind of even worn casually with joggers, with jeans, with a thin sweatshirt underneath or a t-shirt. And actually when it was colder a couple of weeks ago, I wore it over an evening kind of over kind of a floaty dress. And I really, really liked that look. It's just a great way to kind of update that leather jacket vibe. I do have a leather jacket from quite a few years ago that I absolutely love, but they are quite heavy and structured. Whereas a leather or a PU, faux leather jacket, is kind of a bit more fluid, but kind of still gives that look. And it's a great transitional piece that you can literally throw on over anything just to kind of give you that extra layer. And I think that's key with transitional dressing is that it's all about those layers. So you might need to whip off your jacket and wear a t-shirt 
underneath, which is fine, but you don't want to be wearing a heavy coat, but equally it's not quite warm enough just to wear a t-shirt. So those kind of handy layers that go with everything are really, really key to your wardrobe. So I've styled this up with a shoulder pad t-shirt, surprise, because I actually really love the idea of kind of giving a bit of shoulder on the jacket, but obviously I'm not gonna put in shoulder pads. So I wanted to try it with a shoulder pad t-shirt. And I've gone for that kind of taupey color, that browny taupey color, which is the palette we are loving now. And funnily enough, I've bought a few things in that kind of taupey, beigey, oaty color. And I really didn't have much in my wardrobe pre this year, really in those colors, but it's definitely a color that I absolutely love. I know you saw, I've got the Frankie Shop blazer in that kind of brownie, kind of oaty color, which is absolutely gorgeous and I love. So it's a real color that is was huge for spring, summer, that's actually also coming through for autumn, winter as well. And I've styled up with my really old, but absolute favorite kind of gap, slightly more wide leg frayed hem jeans and a little bit of a heel because I just wanted to show you that the jacket can be dressed up as well as dressed down. And I definitely think it's something that can work so hard in your wardrobe. And there are so many amazing kind of high street versions at the moment. Obviously this one was last year from H&M, but I've seen they've got kind of like a crocodile one in there. I know Topshop and they've got some great lighter colors on Topshop as well. And I thought you'd really, really like it. And it's my first kind of outfit for this transitional dressing period. Okay, the next piece that I think is really important in a transitional, autumn wardrobe and also just a general capsule wardrobe, which is a shirt dress. Now, I mentioned before that I probably, in autumn, lean less towards the kind of floaty, boho-y summer dresses because I tend to feel they're very light fabric, they're quite light, and I don't know about you, but when it's dark and grey outside, I just I feel it, find it really hard to put on really something bright. I kind of want to dress to the weather, if that makes sense. So a shirt, a classic shirt dress is a great piece that will literally take you anywhere from work, weekend, going out. I love it dressed down with trainers. I love it kind of dressed up with an ankle boot. And this is actually another piece from H&M, which is a kind of like a silky shirt dress. Oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna take the sleeves out. Silky shirt dress, and it's got this great detail on the sleeve, the kind of quite long cuffs, which is a really great kind of design. You can see it's kind of got that hem and it's a little bit longer at the front than it is at the back, but it's a really fluid, floaty shape, which is what I tend to look for in shirt dresses. I don't, I do like ones that tie at the waist, but I sometimes prefer just something really comfy and loose. And I, I do think sometimes they lend themselves a bit more to a slightly more casual vibe that can be dressed up and dressed down. Sometimes the very, the more structured belted versions do feel a little bit more dressy, which is lovely. But if you want something that perhaps can work a little bit harder in your wardrobe, I do love a shirt dress. Classic black, you can't go wrong. And actually, I was really impressed with myself the other day because I ordered online a really random thing from Zara. I feel like it's what my wardrobe has been missing out on. A little lace bralette. Now I do sometimes fine with, I don't like doing up a shirt too high or a shirt dress. So I tend to like it open quite a bit lower, but I don't want to see my beige bar underneath. So I thought, I'd, I don't know why I've never owned one of these. I know Anina Bing do amazing ones, but I just, I haven't taken the plunge. They're quite expensive, about a hundred and something pounds. And I saw this on Zara. I really don't think it was more, I'm gonna double check. It was definitely under 20 pounds. Um, I thought it was really, really great. It looks really comfy and perfect for when you're wearing something really low. Um, and I put them together and it looks, it's really, really good because you get a little bit of the lace detail when you wear the buttons open. And actually with that, with the oversized sleeves of this dress and the low buttons, it's quite a cool look with the lace kind of poking through. It definitely was too low undone and felt for me a little bit too high done up. So this was like the perfect answer. And I actually think... It's just a great piece to wear even under a cami. If you find your camis are too low, you could pop this on. If you have V-neck t-shirts, dresses. It also, I think it came in nude. It was a lockdown purchase. Um, so I'm gonna check that it's still online, but I will link some below if it's not available. But I was really pleased with that. So as you can see, I've tried this dress on. You can see the shape and the style. It's just really floaty, really easy. And again, it's kind of that piece that would work for any weather. So it's light enough to wear just by itself if it's a little bit warmer, but you could throw on a denim jacket or a leather jacket, or even the jacket is what I wore it with. I went to friends for dinner the other night and I wore this dress 
she was just making dinner in her garden and it was quite mild but definitely needed a jacket so i had on my golden goose velcro trainers which is what i've styled it up with today and i popped on the leather jacket and i actually felt really nice in the look so it's definitely a go-to piece for me in when it comes to transitional dressing and again i styled up today in the same way with trainers because i do love that vibe i love a trainer that is quite flat on the foot that you can kind of wear with your jeans and your dresses as well so you know how much we love our new golden goose from my teresa they have been such a great piece and so easy to wear and actually you keep them on your front door you don't need to even bend down to do up a lace. You literally just put them on. You can hold a baby, do the Velcro, and it's super easy. So big shout out to those. Okay, so I don't think it would actually be a what YouTube video or even Instagram if we didn't speak about something in Nina Bing. Because as you know, she is a designer we absolutely love. We love following her on Instagram. She's so chic. And those pieces just are so classic in your wardrobe that you know you're going to get them out time and time again. And every piece she makes, I feel like I could wear a million times. I just love her aesthetic and I love her whole vibe. And I think even though the price point is slightly higher, it's those pieces that you really feel like you can have in your wardrobe for a really long time and style them in so many different ways. So we're all about Anina Bing at the moment. This is the new collaboration with Terry O'Neill. And it's this gorgeous grey sweatshirt, her classic kind of slightly 90s vibe sweatshirt but they're not too you can see the inside there they're not too thick which is absolutely fab and I will say it's not quite knitwear weather yet I think we shot some cashmere or we did shoot some cashmere the other day and I actually kept on I kept it on afterwards and it was the cooler week but it was too hot I just don't think we're quite there yet so a great sweatshirt is a piece that is amazing just for those in-between seasons and you can wear it with your joggers you can wear it with your leather trousers you can wear it with your jeans really really versatile i do like a sweatshirt with a little bit of something going on just feels a little bit more kind of wow than just your basic sweats she says wearing a bit of a basic sweatshirt today but you know what i mean so i love that piece it's a great piece wear a t-shirt underneath it you can obviously tie it around your waist if it gets too hot and I think in Nina Bing, if you're going to invest in one sweatshirt and you want to spend a little bit more, her sweatshirts are absolutely amazing. You feel super cool in them and they wash really well and I really feel like they're a wardrobe staple. So classic piece and classic look number three is a great sweatshirt and jeans. You just can't really go wrong in that. Look number four, I'm touching upon outerwear again and I'm celebrating the Mac. <laughs> This Mac is from New Look, and when I say I've had it for, I'm gonna say six years, but it's really Burberry inspired. I love the details on the sleeve, on the collar. I love the length, it's a long line, and it's always been my go-to. Every year, I have had kind of different styled ones, like more linen-y ones, more light ones, but every year I seem to go back to this, so I'm really pleased to be including it in today's video. And I think a Mac is a really great, useful piece for everyone to have in their transitional wardrobe, their autumn water wardrobe, their spring wardrobe. I kind of just feel like it's a great throw on and they're always chic and they just never go out of fashion. Recently though, I've actually been wearing my Mac much more dressed down than I ever have. I saw an in, uh, image on Pinterest, or was it Instagram? I think it was Peniel, who Philippa and I absolutely love. And she was wearing a tracksuit, really oversized 90s tracksuit with chunky trainers and a Mac over the top. And I put the look on, I tried it on, and I really, really liked it. I'm gonna put the picture up here. Um, I And we actually put it on Instagram as well with the Topshop Acid Wash tracksuit, which I know you guys absolutely love. And we popped on our trenches and our trainers and our sunglasses. And it just felt like a really pulled together look that was very now, but actually it was just pieces that we had in our wardrobe, but just styled together differently. And that's what I love about a capsule wardrobe is those pieces that you can refresh with different things. You can pull together in different ways, be inspired from Pinterest, from Instagram, from kind of people that you see out and about and kind of just give new lease of life to those basic pieces. So today for you guys, I've styled up the jacket with another tracksuit because I know that the Topshop one has sold out. So I didn't want to um, show you again. Plus you've already seen it. So I've got 
a different tracksuit on for you today, plus my chunky Balenciaga trainers, which I know are very love and hate, but I love the fact they give you a bit of height. I'm always looking to kind of add a little bit of a height. I feel like I've got quite a long body and shorter legs, which is absolutely fine, but I always like to add a bit of height where I can, but I'm not the type of person that wears heels in the day. So any chunky trainers or any trainers with a little bit of a lift, which is why we love Golden Goose, because they've got that slightly thicker platform, which gives you a little bit of height. Um, and any kind of dad styling nine, 90s trainers do give you a bit of height and just kind of make you feel a bit taller, which I like. So start them up with my Balenciagas, which we got a couple of years ago now, and they're still selling them on net porter I think they were a really great investment. Um, I've worn mine loads. I find them really, really comfy. I probably wouldn't wear them for like a long dog walk or anything because it's just no point. But I wear them all day kind of running around with Lenny and I find them really comfy. But you don't have to buy the Balenciagas. There's so many amazing dad trainers on the high street as well. And actually I'm making it my mission to find you guys a really good um, inspired by pair of the Balenciagas because we've been asked that question quite a lot. And I haven't actually found any that I feel are wow enough. So I'm going to try and find some and link them below. The trench is such a great piece. And I feel like I keep saying it, but you can dress it up and dress it down over workwear. When I used to work in an office, I always used to wear my trench over my dresses or I love a knitted dress in winter. Perfect with a knitted dress, perfect with trousers. I will say though, when you're going for a trench, I think it's more flattering when you go for longer line. I personally don't love the ones that hit you out of the knee because they tend to be a little bit more flared. And then proportionally, if you're wearing something looser underneath, it doesn't quite work. So try and look out for longer styles because then whatever silhouette you're wearing underneath, it kind of covers it and it doesn't distract too much. So this one's new look. I'm pretty sure they bring it out every year. I'm gonna double check, but if not, I will link a very similar one below. Okay, look number five when it comes to kind of capsule wardrobe transitional dressing. I'm celebrating the PU faux leather trouser. Now, funny enough, it's another piece from New Look from a couple of years ago that, oh, oops, that I've had and I've loved. I know all the high strip shops does it. I think I saw these on someone on Instagram and really loved the shape of them. And I ordered them and was really, really pleased with them. Everywhere is doing them now. The mango ones are meant to be amazing. And I'm sure I've spotted them in like a burgundy color, which I've really got my eye on. H&M are doing them top shop. I probably knew look again. And I love a jogger. You know how much Phil's and I really love to wear loungewear and feel relaxed. It's just, I'm not good at wearing tight, high-waisted jeans when I'm running out around after Lenny. The faux leather jogger is a great alternative to wearing joggers or trousers because when the weather starts to turn, we've had a load of those linen trousers this season, which we love. Sometimes I find that they do, if you're up and down and you're on the floor with kids, they do go a little bit baggy at the knee, the linen trousers. And also when it's a bit colder, they're not, they're probably better for a summer season. So leather jogger, absolutely love and so easy to style. Another great piece to wear with a t-shirt and a denim jacket or a t-shirt and a cardigan. Loving cardigans again this season. Kind of more into the slightly boxier, shorter ones, quite like the idea of them. I actually did a little H&M order, like I said, and I ordered, there was quite a lot online. I've ordered a couple just to try, a couple of belted styles, boxier styles, and I kind of like that vibe, maybe open with a t-shirt or worn done up, tucked in. And I would definitely do that with a jogger as well. So I've actually, I haven't decided how I'm gonna style up the leather joggers yet because I'm filming the chatty bit first and then you're gonna see me in the mirror. So I think I might show you both ways with it worn with a cardigan, which love that look. Also with a denim jacket, because again, that's another one of my absolute go-to looks. T-shirt, leather joggers, denim jacket, done. Super chic, super easy. Trainers feel really, really good in it. And it doesn't require any thought. You just pop on a white T-shirt or a gray T-shirt or a logo T-shirt with the leather joggers and denim jacket. And there's just, there's something about denim and leather together that I really, I just, I always feel really good in it. It's a great kind of combo that is really easy to wear. Again, just made up of those wardrobe staples, just super simple styling, which actually is something that I'm really passionate about. And I just find it so easy just to have those 
those go-to pieces that you feel comfortable in, that you can pull together each time, just makes dressing so much easier. I'm so guilty of having lots of things in my wardrobe that I really like, but sometimes just feel a bit too done or a bit too much. And whenever I don't know what to wear, it's always these type of pieces that I'm drawn to, that I go to. So really, I often think I could get rid of 90% of my wardrobe, keep a small rail like this of all these basic pieces and just feel like I could get dressed in something a little bit different every single day. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I realized at the beginning that we said that we were gonna be back together this week and we lied, but don't worry, we are gonna be back together next week for sure, filming a YouTube video, which is gonna be going live at 7.30 a.m. Again, unsure what that's gonna be, but it was really good to hear you, your guys' feedback and good to know that a lot of the same topics were coming up. I definitely think we're gonna do um, a bit of a review on some of our designer pieces and also we might have a bit of a designer reveal coming up for you guys. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe below. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week at 7.30 a.m. Bye.